Hey there, welcome to episode 14. I'm not sure I want to call it the Learn to Rope Log anymore. I, I think it's kind of a clumsy name or a little bit of a mouthful, but I'll think of something. If you have any ideas, leave them in the comments. Anyway, this video is about a book I started reading. I'm about halfway through now called With Winning in Mind by Lanny Basham. And I guess I had found the book months ago and intended to order it but it never did and then I, while listening to uh, Devin Riley's podcast the Blazing Trails podcast if you haven't listened to that definitely go check it out I'll put a link to it in the uh, underneath this video but listening to that show he mentioned how much how important that book was and how good it was so I said man I, I better read it from what he said or on his recommendation and so I went to Amazon to order it and it was already in my in the queue to order or it was I'm not exactly sure how it works but it was like maybe a saved item I wish I had ordered it sooner but maybe now now is when I needed to read it and maybe this is when I'll get the most out of it so one of the things that's really struck me in the beginning is and this has really mattered for this last couple of weeks because it's just while it's sunny today and beautiful it's been it's been raining for about two weeks straight and you know I got to ride around my house a little bit but it got just about too wet to do even that I mean everything's underwater and flooded and just been no fun <laughs> and so uh, but what what I was going to say about with winning in mind this is just one little point that he made in it and but it struck me as pretty important is that uh, top performers in any in any sport or sport or activity will tell you that that high performance is 90% mental and he he made the point that if it's 90% mental, then why don't you spend 90% of your time practicing your mental strategy? And it, it's a good question. I know I've heard similar ideas to that in the past, and it's it's good. What I thought about it before, I guess, is if 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 you physically I, I'm not able to perform what needs what you know turn the steer or what have you whatever you're trying to do then what's the point of practicing mentally but I know that's not true it's kind of like a, a crutch or an excuse that I might have used to get away from the hard work it's not hard but I mean the the intense thought process and or maybe meditation on what what you're trying to do that is required for, for mental practice. And I've used visualization, vis, vis, how do you even say that word? Visualizations before and, and with, uh, I mean, I've done, I've, I've used them to try to imprint in my head the, the steps to where trying to make it second nature that you know, backing in the box with your arm locked and nod, open up, tip down, relax over the left horn. And a year, a couple years ago, I would go through that checklist in my head, like I would, in a, like lie down with my eyes shut. And I've even used uh, headphones with brainwave technology that, or resonates in your ear a certain way that causes you to go into different brainwave states that are good for absorbing information. I know this is weird, but this is why you're watching this show instead of something else. So use that and, and, and just seeing myself over and over with pressure and high stakes, you know, say this is the, your fourth high call and this, and this is for $7,000 and a buckle and a saddle. And I used to do that more often, and maybe more so when I was not my my abil roping ability was not what it is now. Not 
not that it's anywhere great, but you know, I was even worse back then, so or I hadn't made as much progress, to say it in a more positive way. And for some reason, I, I'm not sure why, focusing so much on, on my, on physically per, trying to perform better, I have gotten away from doing that much mental work. And so that, that's kind of what, the one thing that, st- st- that stuck out at me right off reading that book now it's it seems I haven't gotten through his whole mental program and it's but I can tell already that it's going to be a huge make a huge difference in, in how he's how he talks about setting your goals and how to think about performing how to think in the moment I mean it's 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 pretty I know it's going to be a big a big deal for me to finish this book and, and implement his wisdom, and so uh, what I what I'll do is I'll make a video when I get done with it, discussing how the parts that well, just a brief overview of the book, and I'll talk about some of the goals I'm setting for myself. Got to put them out there in the universe to see what happens. But I mean, I, I can't recommend the book highly enough, and it even helped a couple, I guess not this last Saturday, but the Saturday before, I played a, a show, on I played fiddle in a, with a band up in Eureka Springs, and I was, uh, it was pretty funny how the, the his concept of self, Laney Basham, concept of self-image it was helpful to me because I, I almost fell into, into an old trap, an old thought pattern when I, when we were loading up, we were setting up the gear before the show, and, and the, the hotel we were staying in, Eureka Springs, there was a, a tour bus from Texas we figured out was the, I guess it was Asleep at the Wheel, if, you, if you're familiar with that band, and you know they always have an awesome fiddle player too, and I almost fell into that old pattern from years ago where I would have thought of myself as it's like man I'd, I'd hate to I'd be embarrassed for a real fiddle player to see me play <laughs> I thought wait a minute I've been working so hard and practicing and, and improving my skill and, and I'm about to sit here and play for these people that paid me to play so that's a terrible way to think and I was able to regroup and realize kind of see the, the hell that that fixed that fixed mindset way of thinking is to see where it will take you and and to appreciate basically learning that I can change my brain and learning slowly but very slowly but surely that I am improving and you know playing fiddle and and everything I'm trying to do and I thought if you've ever read with winning in mind you know that one of the his points about self image is that your, your self image is what sets the bar for your subconscious mind to reach for or basically it's it determines how high you'll how high or how well you you will your subconscious mind will allow you to perform and I can I can say that I mean that that show playing fiddle this I know this is off topic from roping but to me that the way your brain works and performs under pressure it's all this is all related so I hope hope you're still with me here but man that show started out and I like I was in the moment and and I knew that I, I was prepared and and I started playing well and boy I was having a lot of fun and but then it was like surfing a wave like you get right in the pocket and then you I would start to think about stuff and start to fall out and I start to like almost panic and then but I kept, I was able to keep breathing and putting myself back into, into not thinking mode and letting, and letting all the physical practice that I had done, let it all come out and to be able to perform at my best. And I, I mean, I was pretty happy. I think that was probably my best live performance and it, it paid well. It was a good time. A lot of old folks getting drunk, 
falling down on the dance floor. That wasn't so funny. I guess. That wasn't so funny if that was you, I guess, but it was pretty good watching. Anyway, I hope you can see how this all applies to not just, you know, how you perform music, but how training your brain at anything carries over. Like, I, I, I kept thinking about that after playing the fiddle on that, that, that show, I, I realized that feeling of of being in the present moment and then feeling yourself slip out and start to overthink things. I felt the same thing at ropings over and over. And I think that as I get better at managing that and and stepping out of the of the kind of the critical part of your brain that yourself or your 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 conscious mind as opposed to your unconscious mind that only good only good things will happen and, and I'll be able to improve and make money and I'm excited to excited for it to happen so until next week hope you've enjoyed this slightly rambling video but hope you got something out of it and